name is Selby here. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to tape your thumb. Now this is specifically for an injury where your thumb has gotten forcibly uh, pushed backwards when it's abducted. Now abduction is L-shaped at the thumb. This happens with baseball players, for example, they're catching hands or really any athlete that's catching a ball this can happen to or skiing, for example, if you fall, um, you can also injure your thumb into that direction. So to begin with, get your tape. Um, if you have a bit of hair on your forearms, you might want to use some Pro Wrap, which is an under wrap that you can use um, under the tape, or you can shave the area because the tape is going to stick much better to your skin than it will to the Pro Wrap, especially if you get sweaty. Um, splay your fingers apart and keep your wrist nice and straight as you put your anchor strap across the wrist. You want to make sure you're not cutting the blood supply off to the wrist, so really splay your fingers apart. Now, because I want to make sure my thumb is not being pulled into this direction forcibly. I'm going to be pulling it forward, but I need to keep my thumb forcibly abducted throughout the duration of this. So really make sure your thumb muscles are working. So I'm going to bring the tape across the front to begin with, or the palmer aspect of my hand. I'm going to make a little um, uh, tuck in the tapes so that the sharp part of the edge is not in the webbing of my hand. And then I'm going to pull my thumb forward, palmer side, okay? I end up where I started. Again, I'm going to come across, I'm going to make that little tuck in the tape across the webbing, and I'm going to be pulling forward. But as I mentioned, you're trying to forcibly pull your thumb backwards at the same time. Now I can do as many of these as is required, depending on how much um, movement you're trying to prevent at the thumb. You need to make sure you're hitting this thumb joint right here. If you don't want to come as high on the thumb as I demonstrated, that's fine. You can be below the second knuckle in your thumb, but you need to really make sure you're stabilizing where your thumb meets your hand. Um, tape will loosen as you progress through your play, so you may need to retighten or retape that area. And if you do get sweaty, the tape can come away from your hand and provide less support. Now, this will not prevent an injury, but it can help to minimize severity of injury if you have a pre-existing issue or if you've injured your thumb in the past and you're trying to do this in a preventative manner to um, uh, hopefully not get injured again in the future.